Hello again there everyone, uh, Matt here with Flytrap Store and I thought I'd give you guys a little tour of the tissue culture grow out area also known as our garage. <laughs> so we utilize these storage racks that we picked up at Costco I think years ago um, and we're still using fluorescent lighting for the most part but as some of these fixtures go out I'll be replacing them with LEDs and doing some upgrades so um, any case, I thought I'd show you all uh, what happens to the plants after they're deflasked, taken out of the tissue culture vessels. Leah pots them up and then we put them in here to start their new lives in soil. Um, this is their first step in the real world um, and in tissue culture terms, uh, it's called in vivo versus in vitro. In vitro means in glass or in a sterile container where they start their lives. These guys are now in vivo for the first time, which means they're actually in soil and they'll grow into real plants eventually. So um, here it is early November 2020 and we've been doing some serious deflasking and potting. And uh, so we've got four full trays here. Um, actually, there's a couple more over here underneath the new LED grow light. Um, we'll fill up this other tray here on the left side of the video. Later today, Lee is busy potting some of those Trev Draculas that we took out. Um, and also we did some Crimson Sawtooth. So anyway, give you a peek under the, under the hood here. These uh, humidity domes help keep the humidity high because in the tissue culture vessels, the plants actually have 100% humidity and that's what they're used to. So if you were to just throw them in ambient humidity, it might kill them. So what we do is keep the humidity high while they grow roots and actual foliage foliage that's more adapted to ambient humidity and um, then they'll be fine. So we'll leave this humidity humidity dome on for approximately uh, probably three weeks to a month and once we start seeing new growth and it looks good we'll take it off. Um, some of these look a little rough. Some of them transition more easily than others but uh, all these guys here will be growing out for the next few months here indoors. Uh, there's some big behemoth, looks like, and over here we have some reader giants. Number two, excited about that guy. Fused tooth here in front. Each of these trays have several clones in them, so that's just a few you can see in front. Whip long snapper over there. Um, so yeah, they'll be growing out here for the next couple of months at least, probably through January. Then we'll move them out to the greenhouse and uh, get them some time in natural sunlight. Um, and they'll actually probably go dormant a little bit out there. Assuming we move them out in January, they'll slow down and hunker down for a little bit. And then they'll pick up with their natural growth cycle uh, starting in probably March. They'll start putting out new growth, assuming we have a normal spring. Um, and by May, they should look pretty nice and hopefully we can have them ready for new homes by then. So anyway, uh, here's some cayenne back there. Um, yeah, so that's what it looks like when they start coming out of the jars and get put in soil. And so hopefully we'll have these guys ready for uh, new homes sometime spring, summer, next year, 2021. Okay, so yeah, this is the Fly Trap Store deflasking tissue culture grow out area before they move out to the greenhouses. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Catch you next time.